Monsignor Lopinto, nice to meet you. How are you meeting the needs that you are seeing in Brooklyn and Queens right now? The needs, I assume, are vast. The needs are vast, Joe, and certainly the one that we're seeing uh, very pronounced is the need for food support. Uh, there is a great number of people who are at this point desperately in need of food assistance. i give you an example. Uh, just before Thanksgiving, we did two events, one in Brooklyn and one in Queens, uh, where we gave out turkeys and food boxes and gift cards. And uh, both of those events, 1,700 people uh, representing 1,700 families Okay, who came and waited online uh, for hours. Uh, and again, we had to turn people away at the end because uh, we did not have sufficient to be able to supply everybody who came forward with, the, with those needs. So it's a tremendous uh, thing. Another example, we have, uh, at this point, we have 48 food pantries that were operating throughout Brooklyn and Queens. Just an example, one of them, it used to have on average about 40 people a week who would come for some food assistance. There are now up to 500 coming every week for food assistance. So the need, as I say, is overwhelming. People have lost their jobs. Uh, they're Many of them, if they're undocumented, they have no benefits. Others, the benefits have run out. Uh, people are getting very anxious now about the fact that the unemployment uh, assistance will end at the end of this month and that the moratorium on collecting rents will end. And so we're also finding a lot of people who are already coming to us asking for rental assistance in the sense of to keep them off the streets, uh, becoming homeless. What do you tell them, Monsignor? How do you counsel people in this situation? Well, we counsel them in the sense of when they come, I think many of them just appreciate the fact that we're there to assist them. We then direct them to our other programs uh, so that if if they need uh, job training, we try to assist them with that. If, if it's a housing issue, we try to direct them to our home-based program, which we run in coordination or in cooperation with the city of New York uh, to try to find them, again, the assistance that they need in order to prevent them from eviction. Uh, if they have mental health issues, we refer them to our five clinics that we operate throughout Brooklyn and Queens, providing mental health services, uh, you know, so that we have an array of programs. We're, we have 160 programs throughout Brooklyn and Queens. And so when someone comes, depending upon what the situation is, we meet the immediate need, but then we make the necessary referrals uh, to the other programs we have, or if we don't have the program, we make the referral to other agencies in the area that could provide them with that help and assistance at this point. And that's where your intervention and perhaps most satisfying work comes in referring clients to wherever they can be helped. Well, yes, it's both hands on where uh -huh. we're actually able to provide the service ourselves or where we're not able to provide that service, uh, referring them to the proper uh, the proper agency that can assist them. So again, we we try very uh, very diligently. We try to make sure that everybody who comes gets the assistance they need in one way or another. Well, I know that Investors Bank is happy to support you and happy to spread the word about your good works. Uh, as part of that as well. And uh, thank you very much for all you're doing for so many people. Okay, well, thank you. And the investor is one of our biggest supporters and we're delighted to have a working relationship with them going forward, not just in their donations, 
but in also their uh, involvement with us in the delivery of service.